All right, so it got me a Camp Chef Deluxe Outdoor Oven. So this thing is an oven, but also it's a two burner propane. This uses propane uh, stove as well. So there's three versions of this. This is the, there's the regular one, the deluxe, and I think the, what was the other one called? I forget what the other one was called. But uh, anyways, I got the middle one. The main difference is this, uh, this one um, has a little thermostat. But it's not automatic. You you know, there's no automatic temperature adjustment on the higher end one. It's there's supposed to be an automatic temperature adjustment. You just set to whatever temperature and it's supposed to get close to it. But what I was looking at it is people were complaining that it didn't work very well. Uh, so it's better to just to kind of manually just set it to wherever and uh, wherever the temperature gets up to, you adjust it from there. You adjust the uh, the heat from there. If you ever use a oven anyway, you're supposed to preheat it anyway, so, so that's a good way of kind of setting the heat. So let's open this bad boy up. So I got this thing several weeks ago at the beginning of the lockdown. Actually, I think I, I ordered it just before the lockdown. Uh, but, and I got it during the lockdown with a uh, I haven't had time to uh, open it yet. Okay, let's see how I'm gonna do this. Oh shit, this thing's heavy. Oh my god, it's heavy, heavy. Whoa! Oh man, that was heavy. Anything else in there? There it is. I guess it's the oven, I take it. Oven, one burner, two burner. There's a windbreak right here. It's on the side. So, tape off. Pretty nice. This top, top here looks like it's made of brass. It has a brass look, anyways. It has a little auto ignition. So I think if you, if you turn it all the way, yeah, you hear that? Oops. Click. That's the uh, auto ignition. So it has a little striker. So that's the bottom. The bottom uh, model of this doesn't have that. You have to use a uh, a little lighter. I think I remember right. This thing was was it ten ten thousand BTU each? I forget now what it was. It's, uh, it's, uh, the oven is three thousand BTU. Oven is 3,000 and the, the stove top is uh, 9,000. So you do 9,000 and that's 3,000. It's a pretty good amount. But that's the other difference between this middle model and the base model. The base model has less BTUs, I think, on the top. I think it's a little bit less, if I can remember right. Um, maybe even a little less on the oven, but I don't recall what it was. Whereas the top model, the top model, the oven is actually higher BTU, but the top is, I think, the same, if I can remember right. This thing is pretty big and heavy. So the reason why I got this is I'm actually moving, I'm moving over to propane. All my camping stuff before that I had before is, uh, is white gas. The reason why I used white gas before was because, you know, I used a black pack. I think for backpacking, white gas is the, th is the way to go. I don't think propane is good for, for backpacking. Because uh, the, the propane bottle, well, white gas, is, I think it's better. So now I don't need really backpack anymore. I just uh, car camp now. So car camp, it's all about 
because you have, you know, you carry a lot of stuff, so you could, uh, you could, uh, carry bigger bulk of your stuff, so, so propane is a lot more convenient than uh, white gas is. You don't have to do any priming or anything like that. Like with white gas, you gotta prime it and stuff to, to light it up. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. So that's why I got propane, or it's converted to propane. Get the handles. This is a valve. This is a valve for the uh, for the um, for the um, the uh, fuel the gas the the propane tank. directions you can put it top or bottom. Just, you see how it's, it's a little step, it's not straight. So you can get yourself more clearance I guess. If you want to, I suppose. Or you get a little bit further or closer. Actually that's a smart design instead of just three levels. There's actually six levels because you could flip the you flip the grill. So there's actually six levels. Actually, this this level here, this this is pretty useless. Well, I guess it's okay for like a, something bad like a pizza, but not much more, not much more than that. There's no uh, there's no uh, space right here. Uh, let's see. It's a decent size. You can fit like a piece in there. Not a large piece, like a, you probably fit like a, let me see, maybe a 12 inch piece, possibly a 14 inch piece even. For sure a 12 inch piece. See, thermometer goes all the way up to 600 degrees. There's a valve right here, that's where you put the, uh, the uh, regulator, this little pressure regulator thing. So this way is the pressure regulator to bring down the pressure. Right? Screw that on like so, you know, all the way in, then you can screw your little four, it's going to be your one pound bottle, or you could get an adapter and put it in a 20 pound bottle. This is all the electronics here. I guess this right here is the ignition. I believe. I think this this is a, a tube, a copper pipe basically. That's for the fuel. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, you know what? This is probably the um, the uh, yeah, what do you call that? It's probably a, for the thermocoupler. I think this thing has a thermocoupler. Uh, I, I think this might have a thermocoupler. It's kind of like a water heater. When when the flame is on on it, you know, like the pilot, it's on there. It keeps the valve open. Wait, the flame is gone. The valve will shut, and so that way the gas doesn't just keep on leaking out. So that's a safety thing with them. Uh, I'm not sure what this big old looks like a power cable is for. Oh, let's see. I don't know what the power cable is for. Yeah, this is a thermocoupler. That one right here, this is the fuel. Oh, this is the fuel for the uh, for the uh, oven, not for the stove. The stove comes directly from here. Got in. I'm not sure you guys can see anything in there. But the stove pipe right here, it goes all the way in there and it goes directly to the two burners, basically. Goes to the two burners. That little thing in the middle right there. Right there in the middle of the screen. 
the little thing looks like a like that thing it's it's not focusing. Come on, focus. So anyways, I think right in the middle of the screen that's that's where the thermocoupler is for the um for the um Right there in the middle of the screen, that little thing right there, that's where the thermal coupler is. That's what keeps the uh, the valve open uh, for the uh, for the oven. Um, and this is a gas line. I don't think that's a gas line. No, that's not a gas line. The gas line goes above that. So if you look here, that's a little wire. That's a thin coupled wire. That's the thermal coupler, and and it goes straight above that, twelve o'clock. That's the gas line. So back here, so that little thin wire is this one right here. This one right here. This this thick copper wire. Then that one that goes at the twelve o'clock. That's this one. This is for the the gas for the oven. So yeah, so it does have a thermal coupler built in. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, that's again, that's a safety thing. So, so on the. So if, if you, uh, for some reason, you lose the, you lose a, uh, the flame. The valve will shut off, and it doesn't just keep on pumping out gas. You know, because that's dangerous if you just pump out gas. Mm. Yeah, so this is a regulator right here, pressure gauge regulator. So I screw this on, I get put on the tank and light it up. So it's just a, it's just a nerd, neural, um, neural uh, little screw thing I bought right here. So basically, you have to tighten this very tight. I guess you can use pies, but I don't think it's designed that way. I think it's because the house designed like this, it's not even a wrench, any fat heads on there, so you can put a wrench on it. Uh, so, so that means it's not designed to, you know, be really tightened down too hard. Um, something like that. I can still, I can feel resistance right there as, as I tighten this. This gets pretty tight. So I should put a fuel gauge on here and just to see how it works uh, I think I would do that let me flip this thing back around actually let me get my fuel tank Pound fuel tank. I have a 20 pound fuel tank, and this way right here is a. Uh, this is the filter for you for because the propane will you know because it's a petroleum based gas. It will actually uh, uh, eat away at the at rubber rubber lines. So that's why you want to have a little filter here. Way to, it gets whatever garbage that's from the fuel line. So let's do this on. So yeah, so like I said, I could, you could put it on a one-pound bottle if you want, but I don't want to put out my one-pound bottle, so I, I'm using the. Uh, you can see right here my my my. Uh, and there's a the hose right there. Obviously, the hose end right here. Uh, let's see if I could flip this thing back around and light it up. Oh, jeez. Ow. Jeez, no handle. 
heavy. Digging into my hands there. Okay, let's see. So, let's see anything in here again? Instructions. Nothing else in there. There's actually a little hole, a little opening in the back there. That's kind of a surprise. See that opening? That's opening to the back. What's up with that? It's like letting out all the heat. I don't know if I like that. It lets out all the heat. Uh, let's see, let me turn on the gas. And the gas is on. Okay, gas is on. Let's turn on uh, the right, right burner. Saw a little flame. There it goes. It's kind of burning kind of funny. I think because it's just so new. I wonder if that filter that I put in is restricting the flow. Yeah, my valve is open all the way. So you see the flame's not a, uh, right now it's not stable, it could be my... See that? It's not stable. <coughs> Oof, allergies. And all day weed whacking. So I think that might be the that little fuel filter that I used. It might be causing a restriction, possibly. Let me light up the other side. See what happens. Okay. Oh. See that it got a little bit more stable. Both sides are on. It's a little bit. No, it's still doing it, but it's more stable than before, though. Yeah, it's still doing it, but not as bad. I wonder if that's the wind. It's not very windy, though. So I might have to take off that filter and see see if it stabilizes. A little bit of styrofoam right there. Okay, it looks like it's stabilizing. Yeah, stabilizing. Yeah, so maybe, so I think it might have been just like pockets of air in the uh, in the lines. So yeah, so now it's stable. So I believe that's just pockets of air that was in the lines. Let's see, let's look at it. Yeah, so now it's pretty stable. It's not, it's not a, you know, going in and out. So right now it's on high. It's adjusted down to low. So that's low on the right burner. It's high, low, high, left burner. Low, high. We turn off one side. Oh, the side got bigger. Yeah, that's pretty normal. So that side got a little bit bigger because it's sharing that same line, right? Yeah, it got a little bit smaller there when the other side turned on. Let's see. Let me look at this left side burner. I'm gonna turn off. Well, actually, I'm gonna turn down the the, the right side. No, it's not much of a difference. Let me turn off the right side, see if the left side gets bigger. Yeah, it got bigger. Definitely got bigger. It's just like, just like this side. If I turn off the left side, this right side will get bigger as well. Yeah, it got a little bigger. Turn on the oven. Let's see. Turn on the oven. Let's 
sure when the oven's lighting up. Tune up those two other ones down. Heat. No heat. I wonder if you need to turn these ones off. I turn these ones off. Whoa. I hit a gas. I hear the gas going. Oh, I feel some heat. Okay, it's on. Okay, oh yeah, I see, I see the flame right there. In this hole right here, if I look down into this hole right here, I see the flame. It's down, up. Cool. So there's that. Let's pull it up, see how long it takes to warm up. Pull this thing off before it melts on there. And you see the condensation on the glass. How much you guys can see it from your angle or from your view, from the camera view. I can see the condensation on the glass from my angle, anyways. Yeah, see so yeah, how it's kind of foggy. So that's the condensation that's normal when you, anytime you burn hydrocarbons. One of the byproducts of burning hydrocarbon is a um, is a um, is water. Any any hydrocarbon, so that that means propane, uh, natural gas, gasoline, any of that stuff. Those are all hydrocarbons, and they will. Um, Besides carbon dioxide, the other byproduct is uh, is water. So the condensation is still there, so that means it's not quite hot yet. I don't know how long it takes to get hot. Does this thing even have a? Uh... No, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't have a. Uh... It doesn't have the the uh, the, the, the gasket. You know what I'm talking about? Like you look at on like wood stoves, for example, and there's there's like a, a ceramic gasket. So this one doesn't have one. I might. Well, this is actually there's some type of gasket on top. It's like silicone. Yeah, it looks like some type of silicone, high temperature silicone, I guess. But the size of them have it though. That's interesting. <laughs> 